Hello everyone, my name is Irvin. I'm a cybersecurity analyst here at Nowcom and today we're going to perform the man in the middle attack. If you guys enjoyed this video, please press a thumbs up so we know what kind of videos to produce in the future and I'll see you guys in the video. When it comes to cybersecurity of your business, the so-called man in the middle attack is one of the threats you must be aware of. A man in the middle attack represents a cyber attack in which a malicious player inserts themselves into a conversation between two parties, impersonates both of them and gains access to the information that the two parties were trying to share. The malicious user intercepts, sends and receives the data meant for somebody else or not meant to be sent at all without either outside party known until it's already too late. Public Wi-Fi networks are the most likely to be used during the man in the middle attack because they usually are less secure than private internet connections. Criminals usually get in the middle of compromising the internet router by scanning for unpatched flaws or other vulnerabilities. The next step is to intercept and decrypt the victim's transmitted data using various techniques. The most successful for a man in the middle attack are financial sites, other sites that require a login and any connection meant to be secured by a public or private key. I will demonstrate a demo which we will gain a better understanding of what a man in the middle attack is. Before starting, you'll need to know the name of the network interface installed on your machine and the IP router that provides Wi-Fi access. The network interface name can easily be obtained as running the ifconfig command on a terminal. Then from the list, copy the name of the interface that you want to use. Also, the IP of the router can be obtained executing IP route show on a terminal. From the victim, you'll only need the IP the user needs to be connected to the network provided by the router. As we're hacking ourselves, we can easily obtain this information directly from our device. We're going to perform a man in the middle attack on a Samsung Galaxy S20 connected to the router with the IP address 192.168.0.17 that uses Opera and will navigate through different websites to show if the attack really works or not. The first thing that you need to do is to forward all IPv4 network packages. In this way, your machine will act as the router. ARP spoof is a command line utility that allows you to intercept packets on a switched LAN. It redirects to packets from your target hosts on the LAN intended for another host on the LAN by forging our replies. This is an extremely effective way of sniffing traffic. Now that you're intercepting packets from the victim to the router, you need to now intercept the packets from the victim to the router with ARP spoof. To see the images from websites that are victim visits, you'll need to use Driftnet. Driftnet is a program which listens to network traffic and picks out images from TCP streams it observes. The structure of the command to start Driftnet and to see the images that the user sees on the website is the following. Once you are done with your attack and you don't want to sniff anymore, remember to disable the packet folding. Here you can see the images that we've intercepted from the websites that we visited. Now again, this is a very sophisticated attack and performing this on non-secure protocols such as HTTP is much easier than it would be performing on HTTPS. And in the next video, I will demonstrate sniffing actual packets and we will see the packets that contain very sensitive information that will be intercepted with the man in the middle attack. So to summarize, in general, most man in the middle attacks can be detected and prevented by following basic security and encryption measures. So here is a list that users must perform to minimize man in the middle attacks, avoid public and insecure Wi-Fi connections while using e-commerce or banking websites, pay attention to browser notifications for unsecured websites, properly log out from all applications online after the session, secure your device with an intrusion detection system, deploy strong firewalls and protocols to prevent intrusions, secure communication protocols like TLS and HTTPS with robust encryption and authentication procedures, verify domain names and browsers before visiting an unknown or insecure website, check for green or gray padlock located to the left of the web address for legitimacy. So I hope that summarizes the man in the middle attack for you guys and I hope you've learned something from it. And if you did, please press a thumbs up so we know what to record in the future and what content to produce more. Thank you very much. It's been your host, Irvin. Goodbye.